React JS mind map part 2 of 10 icon button in the previous video we created the layout of the mind map up the layout is good but it will be better with icons and icon buttons so let's create an icon first an icon is a react component with an SVG image. We can take an SVG image from the icon library. Material icons will do. We need the icon in the SVG format. Just copy all the content of the SVG file and paste it in the icon component. That's it. We have an icon. This icon needs styling. Let's do some styling. All the icon SVG files have the same structure. The color of the icon is set by the fill property. Let's remove it from the SVG to the module CSS file. Let the fill color be white. Yes, that's better. We have one nice icon. Only one icon. We need more icons. Look at the D property in the path element. It is the image in vector format. Let's extract it from the component to the separate file icons.js. The file with key value object. The icon name is the key, the vector image is the property. Now we can copy from the icon library on the, the D property of the path element. And paste into icon.js file. This one. That one. One more. I need to stop it. Enough. Okay. We have icons with different images. We need icons of different types. Black one for common use, green for the main menu, and orange for the action. We have the icon. Now we can create an icon button. An icon button is just another React component. React component with an icon inside. Type and name of the icon we will get from the props. Let's add some styling to make the button look like a button.
And now let's make the button to click like a button. To do this we need to use the on click parameter. The button is clicking. All right. One icon button is good. Two icon buttons is better. Let's create a toolbar. The toolbar is a React component. The component with a list of icon buttons. To render the list of icon buttons, we need a map method and an arrow function. For each item of the list, we return the icon button. Each icon button has its own name and on click handler. The toolbar is ready. Just one moment. Each item in the list needs to be marked with a unique key parameter. That's better. Now let's make the toolbar be located in different parts of the screen. On the left side, on the right side, maybe on the top, maybe in the bottom. All we need to do this is another module CSS file. We use different CSS classes to locate the toolbar. And we use props to choose which location, that means which CSS class to apply. So let's create a number of toolbars. Different types in different locations.
We have two bars. Plenty of different two bars. All two bars have the same set of icon buttons. That's because the icon button list is set in the two bar component. Let's extract the list of icon buttons from the two bar component to the parent components. We will get the list of the icon buttons from the props. Different lists of icon buttons and only one two bar component. Just what we needed. Yes, that's better. Just a little more styling for the two bar. A little bit here. And a little bit there. And over there. Now we have got the layout. We have got the icon button two bars. But we still have only one screen. We need routing. We make routing in the next video. Thank you for watching to the end. Subscribe to our channel and you will learn how to add routing.